A lightweight title to Canelo. What was your thoughts on the fight? I didn't watch it. I see the stoppage. Um, you know, uh, I heard a lot of people say that it was a 50-50 fight. Let me rewind that. Um, like I say, I see some sort of shit we're talking about that. I need him or something. This past weekend, as I mentioned, Sergei uh, Kovlev lost his WO World Lightweight title to Canelo. What was your thoughts on the fight? I didn't watch it. I see the stoppage. Um, you know, uh, I heard a lot of people say that it was a 50-50 fight. Rounds were close, but you still can't take away the fact that Canelo uh, got the job done by stopping him. But I think that's got a lot to do with the weight clauses they put on people. I think that uh, there's a £10 weight clause on them all. On um, Kovalev. At what time in the morning was that? I'm not sure what time, but I saw a few rumours, and again, I don't know if it was true, but there might have been one on the night of the fight as well. There was one rumour that I saw as well as one in the morning. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's you know, they've been, now, obviously they overpaid him, but they went, look, forget that money, you've got to do this and that. See, with me, it's not about the money, and I think it needs to be made fair with everybody. Um, after this fight, I may even move up to light heavyweight. I may even move up to light anyway out of this fight and, uh, and challenge him for his belt because he's WBO uh, light heavyweight champion, I'm WBO super middleweight champion, so if I move up straight away, I get the mandatory spot. Ooh. I didn't... I oversaw that. He is the WBO super middleweight. And now Canelo's WBO light heavyweight he relinquishes belt, he does become Canelo's mandatory. Interesting. Oh, uh, well, I may even move up in weight because I'm struggling for weight at the moment, and I agree. Yeah. What weight do you think between yourself and Canelo would produce the best fight? I don't care if we both got to make 10 stone. If we both got to make 11 stone, 12 stone, 13 stone, 14 stone, 15 stone, I don't care, as long as we both make that weight. And that doesn't only go for him, that goes with everybody. I want it to be firm and fair with all my fights. So, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I think that he's a bit of a, he's, he's, he, I don't know when I, when I say this, but he's always growing in shape, growing in size. So. You know, there's a few question marks around Canelo, aren't they? But um, as long as we're both the same weight and the same weight on the night of the fight, no problem. If I can put a pound on out of the way and he can put a pound on, that's a fight, it's no matter. Well, Peter Joe, I know I've got... <clears throat> Okay. Mm. Okay. That is very interesting. Very interesting. And that will be the same situation that soon we're waiting to play out with Usyk being the cruiserweight WBO champion, relinquished this belt. Now he's the immediate, he is the mandatory for the heavyweight, which is to fight Joshua Ruiz or whatever that do. Or if one of those, one of them relinquished that belt. So that is interesting. And so I know quite over some time they've been teasing us with the idea of Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders. And I think Oscar De La Hoya made a statement, quote me if I'm wrong or correct me if I'm wrong, that Canelo is never going to fight Billy Joe Saunders or something like that. I think he made something like that in the past. Canelo will never fight Billy Joe Saunders or something along that nature. Um, <laughs> well, if he relinquishes his belt, is it would be interesting to see if Canelo vacates his WBO light heavyweight title. If Billy Joe Saunders say, hey, I'm gonna relinquish my belt and I'm moving up to light heavyweight, then will Canelo stay at light heavyweight? 
And will that affect if there happened to be a super bout between Ward and Billy Joe Saunders? I mean, Ward and Andre Ward and Canelo Alvarez, pardon me. That is very interesting. But Billy Joe Saunders says something very interesting. He says a lot of question marks surrounding Canelo Alvarez. And again, I plead to Canelo Alvarez to put out this burning fire, bro. It is happening on both sides of the hemisphere right now. And you have the ability to get above it. You have the politics in your hand to get above it. So I suggest you do that because you do not want everybody in the UK running rumors around about you. And you don't want everybody in Mexico as well running rumors around about you and everybody in the United States running rumors around about you. So Canelo Alvarez, um, golden boy, tighten it up. Um, you have the ability. Um, many people still doubt you and question your immense talent. And I suggest you prove them all wrong and one of the ways to shut everybody up is no more rehydration clauses. You know? If you're going to go to a weight... Now, you ain't the only one that's done it. Everybody has done it in the past. I know. You know, but... It hasn't been, from what I can remember, as much... Um, controversy around a fighter and... and fighter in particular as many particular fights as you have so let's um shut all those naysayers up hey let's get rid of the rehydration clauses i think you've done and like many others floyd mayweather's done it hey you know sugar ray leonard's done it the graces many of the graces done it so you're not the only one so i'm not here singling you out at all i'm just saying with the immense amount of with the Tremendous microscope that's on you, particularly right now. You know, you're going to get your haters, you know. But, you know, they say wherever there's smoke, there's a fire. And it's been a lot of smoke around your name, Canelo. So, um, prove all the naysayers wrong. Let's get rid of the rehydration clauses. And if you're going to move up, you're the baddest man on the planet. You know, if you the cash cow, the face of the sport, if you're pound for pound, Number one, prove it. And the best way you could do that is, hey, everybody gets a fair fight. No stipulations stipulations on anyone, you know what I mean, that is in your favor um, and hurts their chances of showing their best the night of the fight. This is Myra Magnus, another segment of Boxing Logics United. One love. Peace and pugilism.